Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 Winter League for the Dragon Warrior Randomizer. Uh, we've got a Group 7 race for you today. We've got Big Slamu, Beta Strap, Dr. Mr. Holmes, Zarnax42 uh, about to race uh, Week 2 Flags. Uh, as always, Dragon Warrior Randomizer is part of a balanced breakfast. Uh, also part of a balanced breakfast is my co-commentator, Aaron, to you too. How are you doing this morning, Aaron? Well, I have yet to be eaten, so uh, that is good. Hello and welcome, everybody. Yeah, so week two has been uh, exciting so far. This is uh, one of the last two races to be uh, to be run. The uh, the one that hasn't been uh, done yet is, uh, well, there's one that has been done but hasn't been broadcast, but uh, we're getting to the end of week two. How have you felt so far about it, Aaron? Uh, this has done pretty much what I think we expected. It was really random, really punishing. There are some things that have just been thoroughly unfair, but uh, that's what um, this week is about, it, to break your expectations, I think, and... Then after this, the uh, the races get a little bit more, uh, you know, the, the, the crazy variants of, oh, I found Sherlock and Swamp Cave right next to each other in 30 seconds uh, kind of goes away, which, you know, I did. It didn't really help me that much. Yeah, this has certainly been uh, this has certainly been a week where sometimes somebody might look like they're ahead, but all of a sudden somebody else finds everything they need and that's the end of it. Yeah, next week, uh, next week going to be a lot more chaos. Uh, but this week's flags, uh, for anyone who's uh, just tuning in, we've got uh, random very fast XP. Oh, I'll, I'll get to it in a second because it looks like we're, uh, we're just starting here. Let's see what we've got in the treasury. It looks like gold, fairy water, and uh, as always, some more gold in the back. Yeah, they're starting with uh, hurt more. They don't need anything. I wouldn't be surprised to see anybody spend more than just a couple of seconds checking the chest and then just get going. But, uh, or, you know, hurt more lets them kill... What, 75% of the enemies in the game. The uh, the one drawback will be that uh, we don't know how much rewards the enemies are going to get because the, uh, the, the rewards for the enemies is randomized. Their stats are still basically vanilla, basically standard, but the, uh, the other stuff's going to be a little funky. Yeah, it looks like the treasury doesn't have all that much either. Just some fairy waters, torch, and uh, and more gold. So we're gonna see what we've got on the uh, on the overworld. Looks like uh, a bunch of levels uh, all at once. Yeah, one uh, one magician to level eleven for beta strap, and I wouldn't be surprised to see some others get that right off the bat. Holmes is pushing out real hard right off the start. Kind of surprising, uh, but uh, and beta strap has found swamp cave already. Oh wow! And is uh, gonna fight. Oh, look, yeah, looks like he's gonna fight this blue dragon. Tried to hurt more it, but uh, yeah, no effect. Big slime move finding the cave as well. Yeah, Vader knew he was dead. I think he just wanted to get that that yeah. enemy information. The, you really in these flags. Once you get a bunch of levels, best thing to do is usually die, just to get that refresh. Now, sometimes you know spending that gold can be useful. It looks like Zarnax is off trying to find a town too, but um, you know stats carry a long way. Uh, seeing that's a blue dragon, we'll see if Beta Strep checks on towns or if he's just going to ride the Hurt more luck. I think he's already got Heal more too, so uh, having both of those is going to make it a lot easier. Yeah, it might just be uh, might just be a case of uh, grinding and finding Sherlock, and uh, sometimes if you're lucky enough, you can do, you can do both at once as you're trying to trying to search. Well, some cheap magic armor in the shop there, but uh, other than that, uh, everything looks uh, pretty overpriced. Yeah, with the random prices, it's, again, the shopping is just a complete crapshoot. But, uh, you know, getting that magic armor is going to help a lot. That might be enough to, to get you through to win the game. Now, Beta Shark gets through, gets the, the blue dragon down, grabs the princess. Slamu had just done it, walking out the bottom. Look at the stats. They got they got game winning stats already. This is a yeah. push to Sherlock. Yeah, beefy level 16s already, and we're and we're only what 500 XP or so in. So they're just uh, they're just having the levels thrown at them today. Yeah, this is this race is screaming right now, and uh, anybody whoever gets to Sherlock first could possibly walk the entire thing without even grabbing a piece of gear. Uh, Zarnax has not found it as far as I can tell, and that's probably going to hurt. But uh, we'll see if he's able to swing back. And if Sherlock winds up being elusive or difficult, these uh, first princess grabs might not matter a whole lot.
Yeah, certainly, uh, certainly seen a number of seeds, and uh, I think maybe somebody in the in the in the race room chat might have cursed it, saying, "Oh no!" Actually, as I say that, there's Sherlock right there on Slime Moose screen, but I'm not entirely sure there's a path to get to it that way. I think he expected the half to go around, and uh, is changing his mind. It might be down this way. It kind of looks like. I don't know. Game sometimes has some tricks with that, but uh, shoot, yeah, it looks a little elusive, a little difficult. Yeah, looks like it's uh, looks like it's not going to be so straightforward. But at least uh, at least basic knowledge of uh, of where it might be. I think he's guessing that this is a two continent seed, and uh, that he needs to go back because he went through the uh, the bottom entrance with the princess. Uh, I think the same way Beta did. But, I believe um, so. Yeah. So the. I, I think he just determined that that's in the northeast corner, and now he needs to go northeast. Uh, we'll see if that pays off. Yeah, coming back to Garenham now, thinks it's uh, potentially going to be in the same direction. And it looks like Beta Strep has uh, seen it. I think he's going to try to push this a little harder than Slamu did. Uh, to see if he can walk around. Slimu kind of noped out when it seemed like a bad idea. Um, but if it does, that's definitely an advantage to him. Again, we have to kind of look and see where the resource management is because uh, you, you really need to keep those heal mores up. And if you don't, it's, uh, it's going to hurt a bit. But I don't know. This looks like a dead end for Beta. Yeah, it's yeah it looks like a dead end. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate for Beta. But uh, at, least, uh, at least again now knows that we've got... Uh now knows that we've got some other, uh, some second continent here going on. And he finds Cole. He's going to find that magic armor, large shield, a club if he really wants it. And uh, now it looks like he just took the one. And uh, we'll see if he gets anything interesting here. And if you count uh, nothing as interesting, then that's what he got. Yeah, big old, big old goose egg. Slamu now uh, doing a little bit more exploring up to the north here. And, and he finds Sherlock. It. There we go. We'll see if he's able to get through here in one go. This would be a massive uh, first result if he could. He has lost about half of his MP, though. Yeah, 40, depends on what we've got for enemies too, and how much they're going to cost him along the way. Sometimes we've seen some pretty, uh, some pretty good hero walks through here, and uh, eighty-nine agility is not going to make that so difficult. I think. Beta strep finding Sherlock as well. Yeah, right on his heels. This is, uh, you know, if uh, Slamu isn't able to get it, you think Beta would just because he's got all those resources backed up. Ooh, and a stone man, not the worst enemy to see here. Uh, he's swinging, though. Oh, and he has DL2 breath. Okay, I take that back. Oof. But he is swinging. He's not throwing out the, the... I think he's a little worried about... Ooh, he's got stop spell. Okay, now this changes a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more comfortable after seeing that, for sure. Beta Strep is uh, coming up on the same spike tile just as Slimu beats the, uh, the Stone Man. And a red dragon right behind the Dragon Lord. Oh, my oh wow. God. He is trying to run. It is not working. Uh, we are still. We have not seen him go through yet. Come on, is he going to get it, or is? Uh, oh, he did get oh, away. He got gets away. It. Wow, that could have made that could have made all the difference. Beta Strep now making the walk. So let's get GGs in the chat for Big Slamu, and uh, very soon for Beta Strep as well. Wow, that was close. Yeah, final times of seven thirteen for Slamu and seven nineteen for Beta Strep, just outside the retime range. Thank you. Very, very close to it. Uh, and uh, Dr. Mr. Holmes, uh, at the same time now, I think, has uh, just seen Sherlock, but um, again, just makes the uh, makes the return trip home to try and find it again. The right way. Yeah, the difference in this is, uh, I think, really came down to the fact that Slamu returned out a lot quicker. Beta put in a little bit more effort digging around before he gave up. Um, so we see Zarnax over there too. I think Holmes has already warped back, so he's on the right path. Even though uh, it took Beta Strap a lot less time to find Sherlock than Slamu after they went, um, just having that advantage coming in, I think, uh, helped just enough to to get him the win. 
Yeah, and uh, while we're uh, while we're watching Doctor Mister Holmes and Zarnax here, uh, just to go over the uh, the flags again, I didn't man- I didn't manage to get through them after the uh, the excitement started on a on a seven minutes long seed. It uh, there wasn't really all that much time, but uh, as you've been able to tell here, uh, Three's company being on is uh, basically the main win condition. We've got open Sherlock, short Sherlock. Uh, and uh, aside from uh, aside from very fast XP and a very small map, uh, those uh, those win conditions definitely make these uh, very speedy. Absolutely, but uh, what we're seeing, Holmes, I think, is going completely the wrong direction. Oh no! There's a little turned around. However, Zarnax has made it into Sherlock. He found the right path. It was really just going, you know, east, north, west. From Tantage on that kind of led there. It was a lot shorter than it seemed. It's just none of our players went that way directly because there was a giant swamp in the way. But here we go. Zarnax again. There is a red dragon in here. They have uh, he has 89 agility. It should be good odds to run from that red dragon, but it definitely held Slamu up quite a bit in that first one. We'll see if he gets through the DL2 breathing stone man uh, just as easily. Yes. Very uh smartly cast that stop spell or cast that sleep i guess stop spell would have been maybe useful too but uh i don't know dl2 breath probably worried more about that than the stop spell well a quick work of the first stone man but it's uh it's brothers here trying to guard the uh the way oh <laughs> and a third brother it's larry daryl and daryl so let's get to ggs in the chat for zarnax who's uh, going to finish uh with a time that i will tell you shortly once it pops up in the race room Yes, we have him finished on the screen, but not in the race room. I, I don't know if he forgot to hit the button or closed it or something. There it is. We've got 10 minutes and two seconds as the uh, as the official time, but I'm sure it's going to be uh, I'm sure it's a little bit quicker than that, but we'll uh, we'll see if it makes a difference. Yeah, if it has to, we can always go back and dig into it, but uh... Yeah, there we go. 10.02 final time. I, I know that I think Zarnax is the one person who plays on original hardware. So uh, at least the only person I'm aware of in the tournament who does that. So that might be part of the reason for the delay. It looked like Holmes would be. was talking to somebody or is questioning what he's doing. But he has a very good reason to finish because tiebreak uh, times do matter. We've seen it come up already. Um, well, actually, you could speak more to that, couldn't you? Oh, I could. I, I ended up uh, DNFing the first race because I had no idea where Sherlock was, and I was not expecting to find it in <laughs> in the in the uh, in the added ten minutes, especially as I was already maybe three or four minutes into that. So, I uh, I took the ten minute max over the third uh, place finisher, which is the maximum time you can get. Uh, and the reason it matters is because uh, once this race is finished, we're going to have a second one. Uh, this week's uh, twin tiebreaker trials. Uh, uh, rule set here has us run two races uh, back to back and we're going to score each race five th points three two one for first to fourth uh, and then score the second round the same way combine those scores and the overall winner is uh, whoever has the most points but the tie break is your total time for the both seeds so uh, yeah the extra the extra little uh, the extra little amount of time here might actually come into play if uh, if Mr. Holmes ends up tied. Right, and it does look like he's going the right direction. If I remember right, it was this swamp and then another swamp or something like that to find it. It just depends as long as he continues going up. Now, uh, even with, again, the way this works, there's tie breaks possible and so on. Nobody is eliminated from the full five points at this point. Although every second that passes makes this a little bit more unlikely for Holmes. We've already seen one race this week where we had three people tie at six, which the only way that happens is if uh, the, the winner and the loser switch and the same person finishes second in both race, races, which means the same person finishes third. Now, we could just have two people tie if we uh, have that same result, but second and third also flip. In that case, it's the winner and the loser tie, and then the tie, of course, is broken by the overall time, which is why uh, finishing is so important. Yeah, Holmes coming up on, let's see, three minutes past uh, Zarnax's time and finds Sherlock. So it looks like uh, definitely going to be beating that, uh, definitely going to be beating that 10 minutes. 
Hopefully. Oh, I say definitely. <laughs> yes, this MP is very low. He does get away from the red dragon right away. That's the uh, the benefit of the agility MP build right there, I think. Oh, for sure. Yeah, 96 agility is going to be uh, going to make it a breeze to run. I say that, but uh, getting run blocked here. <laughs> there it is. Uh, breeze. I think 96 agility gives you something like a 52% chance to run. Red dragons are just notoriously obnoxious. Now, the, the big thing here is that uh, stone man, he really needs the sleeps to stick to, to be able to get through this. If not, we might have a problem. Yeah, you've only got at this point, what, two casts of sleep, so it uh might not be so uh might not be so easy um oh he, he's swinging through he has no option so he's just hoping for stop spells at this point and he manages to get and through crit. <laughs> nice yeah yeah i was oh let's hope nothing stops him along the way now with 28 mp or 28 hp no, it manages to walk the rest of the way. He Let's get GGs in the chat for Mr. It. Holmes. Nice. And uh, we, we have had a report that our race time room is being a little bit funky. So there might be something going on with that site. And uh, we'll just have to kind of keep that in mind. Hopefully that doesn't come into play in any particular fashion. Yeah, let's uh, let's hope not. So uh, stick around, everyone. We're going to have a race two coming up very shortly. Uh, we're getting the uh, the race room set up, getting the racers uh, reset, and uh, it uh, shouldn't be that long before we have a second race. But uh, meanwhile, uh, this group is one that I've been looking forward to, uh, mostly because I know three out of the four players here were uh, were in the playoffs of last year's winter tournament. Right. In fact, we have, uh, you know, Team Swag and Lord here, Beta Strep and Holmes, who are the uh, the, the co-op defending champions, the only co-op tournament we've had so far. But uh, they did manage to, uh, to win that one. Holmes has actually won three other titles outside of that. Um, now with Angel, basically the, the most decorated uh, Dragon Warrior randomizer runners, although uh, he's not quite as obsessed with it as I think he was in the past. Doesn't play plays a lot more stuff than he used to. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been playing some other things myself here and there, but uh, Dragon Warrior Randomizer is always the one I, I come back to uh, more than anything else. I think that's uh, a lot of people enjoy it. It's uh, relatively easy to get into and anybody who does want to get into it, if you're watching and you're uh, and you're interested um, we'll throw up the uh, the link to the Discord. Feel free to uh, feel free to come on in. Uh, everyone is absolutely wonderful and very happy to help uh, anybody to learn. Right, Winter League is a bit imposing for the newer player to see sometimes, but some people get into this stuff pretty quickly. It's just really uh, what you fancy. I would say around 25, 30 percent of the community only races standard races. But uh, there's a whole lot of people who don't race anything except for Winter League. And they're just looking forward to this sort of stuff. So we do have a new race room created. The race has been rolled. We're just going to wait for the transition to get everything over to the new, uh, new tracker, new everything, get everyone loaded their games up. Again, we're seeing right now Zarnax loading it into his power pack. Uh, takes a little bit longer, but that's not any big deal. There's no rush right now unless any, somebody has something they need to do. Do you? Oh no, I'm in a rush. <laughs> Having a great time with my uh, my my morning my morning cereal, and this is uh, better than any cartoons I could uh, I could possibly hope for. Oh nice! I'm uh, I'm waking up with my morning Mountain Dew. Nice. I'm definitely a fan of the morning sodas myself. And again, what this works, the second race, we combine the uh, the points, the first race and the second race, mesh them up, average them out, et cetera, sort of thing. Um, but the, the scenarios are really, uh, if, if Slamu wins, he gets the full five points because he won the first race. If Beta Strep wins, and Slamu finishes second, 
I believe there was what a, a six second difference. So as long as Beta Struck wins by more than six seconds, and that holds up through retimes, uh, he would be able to get the full five points out of this. Um, situations for the others are a little bit more complicated. Uh, Zarnax would need to win and have Slamu finish last or third and uh, get some sort of uh, tiebreaker over him, etc. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of different uh, lots of different options here still. Like nobody's uh, like you say, nobody's out of it entirely. Some people just have uh, oh, definitely some pretty specific scenarios that need to happen. Looks like uh, we've got a couple strength HP builds on Slamu and Zarnax and Beta Strep and Doctor Mister Holmes. Uh, Beta Strep with an MP HP build and Mister Holmes with a MP agility. Yeah, and uh, we got we got a little bit more meme with the name. Slamu's just calling him after himself. Mr. Holmes, again, half of Team Swag and Lord, going, bringing the swag today. And Beta Strep is now going to play as King Loric to kidnap his own daughter and give her to the Dragon Lord. I love it. Unfortunately, we don't have a Loric sprite. Anyway, under, underway, we got the flute and gold. How about that? Very, very useful flute, maybe. And uh, getting that gold, be able to maybe visit a town. I think the town was almost irrelevant last time. Yeah, I think so. We've got, what, gold and herb. Another herb. And some fairy water in the uh, in the treasury. So, so again, none of the big time, uh, none of the big name items just yet. The 20 strength is nice, but uh, those herbs may be necessary. Look at that. Look at that yeah, start. Looks like, looks like they might come in handy since we've decided to build a castle in a swamp again. And Beta Strep walks over into a zone that probably looked like it might be a zone one or two, but no, it had an armor knight. What a perfect Beta Strep enemy to fight immediately. And he's going to come back down and get some more herbs because uh, that starting zone is not pleasant. No, for sure. Mr. Holmes now uh, deciding these mountains up north of the castle are the way to go. Yeah, Slamu, however, does break out of the level 1 jail first, went east, found the forest, killed something, and uh, gained about 7 levels. Um, I'm not exactly sure where his stats are, 8 levels, but uh, definitely once you get to that point, you start to feel comfortable to do some things. Yeah, Beta Strep finding an 8 XP Magician, but it's enough for level 2 at least. Yeah, Slamu so, mean, is looking around. He's trying to find something again. He, he got, he's got enough, but he really wants to find his a town, so he does not have to go back to Tantagel. Um, I don't, I don't remember what we saw underneath uh, Tantagel. I know, I think Zarnax checked it. Uh, did you see what it was? I did not catch what it was. Uh, I, I didn't know that anybody even actually went down there. So, yeah, that's that's definitely news to me. Maybe chat can fill us in on what it was under the castle. Still no towns anywhere to be seen. The, the interesting scenario would be if it was Swamp. And oh, there is a town. Holmes has found one, but the Star Wyvern Guardian uh, blocked him from being able to get there. Thanks to uh, Silly Dabbit in the chat, says it was the uh, the harp trading cave under ca under the castle. All right, so as long as nobody wastes time going back there, it should be fine. Speaking of that, Slamu did not get away from the blue dragon. I bet we'll see a basement check right now from him. Uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna peek it now. It's what most people think. I know uh, that's a, a pretty common strategy to just check it after you die. Uh, we've already seen that backfire once in this tournament though, when somebody just didn't die. Never ended up making it back. Yeah, I do remember that as well. It's in the answer chat. Hello, Malkior, and you are correct. Three's company. Uh, one possible victory condition to give the princess to the dragon lord. It's usually the simpler one. I uh, can't really think of a scenario outside of not being able to find swamp where it would be better, unless you just have like a wombo combo golem and no fairy flute or something. And uh, that's about it. Or you get like, no, I guess you wouldn't get ghost stats without heal more. So yeah, I've seen some pretty beefy stats, but I don't think, yeah, uh, I think heal more is uh, you're, you're definitely going to be ghost stats after you get heal more for sure. 
Yeah, and it looks uh, on the Zarnak screen, found a town. The shops were not super good. Uh, again, the, the, the shopping hasn't made much of an impact on anything. Beta has been walking for a long time, chases the herb, and then immediately gets killed by a stone. Ouch. So, this setup has been uh, a little bit trolly in that everyone just keeps finding a Sherlock enemy at the wrong time to stomp on them. Uh, otherwise, they, they should be good. And it looks like, yeah, Zarnax is just trying to hole up here. I don't know if he's thinking about buying gear or if he just wants to grind a little bit in a safer area. Yeah, looking for these 202 XP slimes, going to at least gain one level off of them. With, uh, with Beta's um, particular sprite, with the name, I'm just going to assume now that it's canon that Star Tropics Mike is official name is Mike Lorik. Nice. Oh, we've got a Sherlock sighting on Zarnax's screen. That is one of the things that you need to know. Nothing you can do about it now because uh, no princess, unless uh, there is there is something that I haven't seen anybody do yet in the tournament. I don't think that is a possibility, and that's just diving Sherlock basement to look for sword or armor. Uh, it's got six chests right there. It's a pretty good uh, conglomeration. I've seen people dig, you know, a little bit of mountain or grave to look for stuff, and uh, sometimes it's paid off. Um, but we'll see. Slimey in Stone's Cave for the one check here, and it is the Dragon Scale. Uh, he spends the two and a half to three seconds to equip it. We'll see if that matters. Yeah, you know, and now that you mention it, no, I haven't seen anybody go into the Sherlock Armory there and, and try and uh, just just go in for six easy chests. So, I mean, I say easy, but, uh, you know, with the enemy set there, sometimes it's not so uh, not so straightforward. But, hey, I mean, you're, you're, you're taking a gamble running into anything else on the overworld anyway. So, as far as I'm concerned, you may as well for the for the six free chests. And if anyone in chat is wondering why these search spots have, uh, I mean, if you've been watching multiple races of this and notice that the search spots just aren't coming up uh, very often at all, the the protocol, the order that the game processes the uh, the things that it does, is that it rolls all of the key item locations first, which again in every search spot has a set 80% chance to have an item. So it rolls all those first. And then when it rolls the open Sherlock flag, which pulls all of those items out that are unnecessary, um, the harp, flute, or excuse me, not flute, harp, uh, stones, and token, it pulls them out from wherever they were and replaces them with either gold or nothing, uh, depending on where they are. So if they're on a search spot, it'll be nothing. So there is just a lot higher chance that you'll have nothing on a search spot because the the way the, the protocol, the order that it goes in. I did not know that. If it were the other way around, there would actually be a lot higher odds to find sword or armor. And Slamu is having an ad. Oh my gosh. Oh, now that ad's making me hungry for something that isn't cereal Mick Delivery loves Mew and loves McDonald's <laughs> alright so uh, after this after this ad break we'll see where Slamu's at meanwhile uh, Zarnax having found the uh, having found Sherlock is uh, just oh and looks like uh, just I'm saying that Dr. Mr. Holmes has found it as well and uh, so we're just looking for a swamp cave now. I don't believe anybody's seen it yet. No, swamp is, uh, you know, I'd be thinking, okay, where's Garenham? Because, oh, never mind. Zarnax has found it. Found North Swamp. Oh, there it is. And uh, actually, Zarnax was in Garenham. Uh, it turned out to be, I think, the tablet cave underneath there. Um, but uh, yeah, South Swamp. Let's see what we've got uh, guarding the princess. Meanwhile, it doesn't look like Slamu managed to find anything in particular while he was going, so we didn't miss much. Looks like a stone man on the spike tile. Haven't seen any tricks up its sleeve yet. It's probably the best enemy they could hope for with uh, iffy attack power, but no hurt more. Get that five experience stone man, you can sleep. That sounds good. And it looks like Holmes is right behind Zarnax getting in here.
Oh, I've said it before, in these seeds that tend to go so quick, that little tune that plays when you rescue the princess just seems like it takes so long. And it's looking like we don't have outside, so are, are unfortunately going to have to try to walk this one out. Lamu coming across Sherlock as well. All right, so we know everyone has seen Sherlock's location now. It's just a matter of finding that swamp cave, which Zarnax does. Gets through the stone man. Uh, ooh, use that heal more. That's going to erase the return, which I thought we might see. But I don't exactly know. We don't exactly know where swamp is in relation to all of this, except that Beta Strep is also there. Yeah, I think it's uh, just on the little peninsula, just north, uh, a little bit north and west of, uh, of Sherlock there. So there's some towns right on the other side of this river, so I, very likely you'll see Zarnax going around and, and refilling before taking a dive, because I, uh, I don't think 4 MP is going to cut it. Yeah, I don't know how far away he was. I just, I kind of, as soon as I saw that MP disappear, I grimaced a little bit, but Holmes is in the exact same situation, has no, uh, okay, yeah, the town's not too far away. Um, Zarnax is getting to, although it looks like he just wants to try to grab another level before he goes. Maybe he's hoping for hurt more. Ah, you know what? 400 experience, you don't get it. He's he's done messing around. Yeah. You know, especially you know there's 200-something XP red slimes out there. You you Maybe you're just going to take one or two and see if you get that level, but I don't I don't blame him for for just noping out of that and just that. getting up the, the end. Yeah, we just saw Zarnax by clothes. And meanwhile, Beta Strep is going directly in with the princess, not worrying about the town. Holmes died. So, uh, yeah, this could be, if this winds up being Beta Strep Zarnax, this would end up getting the uh, the wind of Beta. So we'll see how it goes here if he's able to, uh, to get through. Did not go top off, but he had uh, a little bit more MP than the other players did. And now he needs to run away from an armored knight. 48 agility and he does wow that that and another one shows up immediately that he just runs right right, right away from wow look at this this is amazing oh my gosh and there's another one is he gonna get it is he gonna get it there's nothing in this flag set that makes this any easier than standard so he's looking at like 30 to 25 percent chance every attempt and no hurt more either like you can't even you can't even just take it out and while he's doing all of this, Zarnax is almost caught up to him. Uh, oh, he's through. Does he have? He uses the last heal more. He's going to... It's a stone man. Again, maybe the best enemy he could see. Zarnax on it as well. Who's going to get through first? Looks like bait. Oh, no. And another... Oh, no. Another AK blocks his way. He gets away and he gets away there, and it is in oh my gosh we have a completely down to the finish tiebreaker situation here beta strep and zarnax finishing within one second of each other beta strep 1158 zarnax 1159 ggs out my gosh yeah, ggs to the both of them wow that was insane that was close those ak's beta strep is not going to be happy So we might have to take a peek at this one. Um, we'll get back to you about that. Uh, Mr. Holmes has forfeited the race, however, which means as long as Slamu does finish out, he will be getting the two points here, uh, which would not have impacted anything, I don't think, anyway. We might have to redefine beta luck after this one. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Uh, like, by odds, he probably should not have made it through. But he did in probably the most painful, absolutely painful way. Right? I, I can't think of anything that's more... That, that I would rather have not seen in that. And especially seeing... How many of them did he see on that walk? The AKs? Something like five or six. I don't know. I did, yeah. Zonax did not see that many. Like... There was some super deep, heavy trolling going on, but again, it was just enough to get through. Yeah, it looks like Slamu with the princess is uh, about to make his own trip into Sherlock.
All right, and joining us in the booth is Zarnax42. GG's. Man, thank you. And here we have Beta Strep as well. GG's uh, to both of you. That last race was so close. How did you both feel about uh, about seeing those times? I regretted my last heal more. <laughs> well, the funny thing about that was I was this close to hitting the forfeit button if that Armored Knight had sniped me because I didn't want to have to go back and go into Swamp Cave and do all that nonsense again. Well, we were we were biting our biting our nails at the end of it. Uh, Big Slamu getting the uh, getting the finish in, so GG's as well to to Big Slamu. Uh, and and yeah, the both of you, uh, Zarnax. I'm not sure you saw any AKs in uh, in Sherlock in that second race, did you? Yeah, I think I ran first or second try. It was pretty lucky. Yeah, we were uh, we were watching uh, Beta Strep go through it and hit about five or six uh, armored knight encounters. Uh, on 40-something agility, managing to run right. from all of them, which was nice. incredible. Yeah, no hurt more. That that From the minute I found Swamp Cave, and like I had all of the pieces I needed, uh, that the rest of that race was really tense because agility was so low, and there were a lot of nasty enemies. Um, even that just little path from Swamp Cave to the inn back to Sherlock, uh, I had a nasty time running from a few different things. Um, I don't know if you, you may have noticed uh, after I picked up Gwaylin, I went back to Cole to use the inn. And before I went into the went in there, I started far, trying to farm some more red slimes and draw magi to make, see if I could get some more agility. I killed like two of them, and I was like, I, I have no idea how many of these I need to kill to get my next level. This is this is a bad idea. <laughs> I felt like I was backed into a corner with the way Sherlock was. It's like, I, I felt that with the high HP and I had a fair bit of resources coming in, it's like, well, I know my agility is probably not that good because I saw what my defense number was and I knew I had decent equipment. I'm like, well, agility is terrible, but if I'm Where like did you one get decent equipment? <laughs> uh, Rimmeldar, I think it was. I never even found it. The best thing I found and I ended up getting was a small shield and clothes. Yeah, I grabbed some cheap stuff in Rimaldar, so my defense, I believe, was in like the mid 60s or something like that. And I'm just like, well, I'm like one in four to run from armored knights. And at the end there, I there's no way I had the resources to swing through them either. And plus, if they had heal more or something, that's just like a waste of time. So like, well, I just have to go with high volatility here and just hope I can run. And you you managed to be able to like like I said, we were looking at your looking at your agility and no hurt more so you can't even take them down it was uh was was quite a sight to see you run from one and then we'd we'd all just kind of wipe our brow and say phew and then you'd take two steps and run into another one and it was just one after the other they were relentless in sherlock there for you yeah and i have a question like since zarnax and i are just a second apart that requires a retime and this actually impacts the overall finish of this race because slamu won the first race I was gonna say I'm I'm cheering for Zarnax right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm I, I think Cyberdark is and everybody else. Right no need to retime mine. I didn't find uh, I didn't find that swamp cave until about 13 minutes. So full, full clear on seed two though. I, I'm really curious about the first seed. I felt like I was way ahead, but I full cleared that map looking for Sherlock, and then I found it from the wrong side, and I had to return and find it again from the right I, 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 I can access it. I found it from the wrong side twice. <laughs> I found it from the wrong side through Swamp Cave and then I walked around and I'm like, it's gotta be in the northeast somewhere. I walk around in the northeast and I ran into I think it was Rimaldar again and I'm like, oh no, I did it again. So I had to oh, backtrack. That was, that was my other big time loss in that first seed was I I found the long way to Swamp South. Um, and then I killed the blue dragon. And then before I got to Gwaylin, I got DL2 Breath by a Wolf Lord. And I was like, that's a really long walk to Swamp South. I'm going to have to... And I don't know, didn't know where Sherlock was either. So I'm like, I'm just going to keep exploring. Maybe I can find the North or Sherlock. 
And, but yeah, I spent way too much time on that overworld in the first one. Congrats, guys. The retime is still one second. <laughs> nice. G E. It's all menuing, Zarnax. N well, yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> you can blame it on any number of things. I, there were, uh, like, I, I could have slept or could have just swung through the last couple swings on the Stone Man instead of putting them to sleep again. I didn't necessarily need to heal more after the fight. Um. So I, I think obviously the the time loss was buying those clothes. I think that's what did it. <laughs> I bought the clothes. I killed a um, killed a couple extra enemies before using the inn, hoping for a level up. And did, well, I ended up did I did get that after the inn on my way to Shylock. but it was only two agility. <laughs> I just remembered that my first encounter in the second seed was an armored knight. Like, I walked through the swamp and used an herb to get to the other side of the swamp. And I, like, went northwest and saw hill tiles. And I just started walking back and forth and got an armor knight and got killed. The first seed, I didn't do... I didn't set up a, goal, a grind in the treasury. Um, I did like... I just didn't care because we had hurt more already. Uh, the second one, as soon as I saw this... Like, I went down to the... Opened the door, and then I was like, wait a minute, we're surround wait, there's a swamp surrounding the castle. I don't know how much, but I'm gonna, gonna see if I can luck out on something just in case. So I ended up getting a full complement of herbs and fairy water right from the start, which was amazing. <laughs> yeah, and I'll say we definitely noticed the uh, beta strep, your first encounter on that one being, uh, being the, uh, being the AK. That was, uh, it was so disheartening. You see a big swamp outside of the castle, and already you're like, ugh. But you finally get out of it, and that's what shows up. It was uh, definitely seemed like a frustrating start. Well, with that situation, it's just like walk back into the treasury, grab another couple herbs, and then just go a different direction and try to stay on the same row or column as Tantagel so you don't wander into a different terrible zone and usually that works and i think my next encounter was a magician or something so like i very slowly got like level four or five or whatever it was like i wasn't seeing the big experience rewards and then i finally saw red slime I'm like finally here's my grind and then i just sat there yeah and it definitely paid off i mean gained a bunch of levels after that pretty quickly and Ended up with uh, ended up with a, a squeaky squeaking past for first place in the second race here. Now, did we all have like a similar experience with the first race? Because, like, from what I heard from Slamoon Zarnax, it looks like we all went through Swamp Cave and we all saw Sharlock from the other side of the water, and then we had to return yeah. and try to find it from down below. Yeah, that was, Amazing. I think, the, the standard uh, experience there was everybody finding, everybody popping out of Swamp South, finding Sherlock uh, on, the, on the opposite side of that little, uh, that little river there, and then having to go and wander all around to find it again. And that's amazing that you guys both had that same and finished three minutes ahead of, I think it was like seven, seven something. That's crazy. Yeah, I think yeah. that these two seeds were just like 99% routing. Like, of course, some of it's just like encounter RNG, but like 99% of it felt like it was just routing. Like, I just went, I knew that Sherlock had to be somewhere north of start in the first seed based on what I saw when I came out the other side of the swamp cave and went left and saw no wrap around. I'm like, well, it's got to be north somewhere. And then I just happened to spot it, like, without having to wander too far away to like get stuck in some sort of convoluted route. Yeah, I think I think I was on unpaced to put up a five minute time there if or even less if that if that one land tile was connected, but it was a quick it was definitely a quick one, right? I mean I just felt like I was cruising the entire time. Levels were free and then straight into swamp cave, so Yep. Yeah, I was like, this feels like an insanely fast seed. I might lose this by two or three minutes if I don't spot Sherlock immediately. Well, GG's to both of you. Yeah, yeah GG's, guys. 
it came down to seconds in both of these uh, races, so it was uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely exciting for everyone to watch. So, um, yeah, let's go around the table. Anybody uh, have any last thoughts, Beta Strap? Surprisingly easy, quick seeds. I mean, there's certainly some <laughs> volatility and concern in the second one with all those armored knights and Sherlock. Um, GG's to my fellow runners. I know Holmes had some struggles today. That's the nature of this flag set. It's just insanely volatile. So it can be really frustrating if you're on the wrong end of it. Uh, thank you to all of you for volunteering. And I am not looking forward to next week because I believe that's our chaos flag set and I hate chaos. It certainly is the flag set for next week. I'll say myself, it's the one I'm I'm probably looking forward to the least uh, because it's probably one of the most further furthest away from standard flags, which is where I've lived since I've started this randomizer. Uh, Slamu, any uh, last thoughts? No, I'd echo the thank you to you guys. Um, I am not looking forward to potentially rematching beta next week, <laughs> but it is what it is. I got to gotta play the seed that I got. So um really wish Zarnex could have been one second faster, but that's okay. I'll forgive you, Zarnex, as long as you teach me how to play Chicken of the Farm. Teach anyone to play that game. Are you uh, thinking about doing the Big 20? I am. It's a terrible decision, but I'm really thinking about it. And honestly, seeing Dragon Warrior and then seeing some other games that I really like, but yeah. then, I mean, it's, seeing it's Star Wars, seeing Star Wars, and I really don't want to play anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, Star Wars has some good music, at least. I remember playing that game as a kid and would only play as Han Solo because of the music, and then would nice. get, in, I get him killed because I'm bad. One yet. I mean, it's but, just... Uh... Yeah, it's his music from the tournament. But yeah, uh, in case anyone is not completely sure of the result, because I know we had a retime and I don't think we actually announced it, um, the uh, the overall points, uh, Beta Strep ends up first place on aggregate time, Slamu second, Zarnax third, and Holmes running up and forth. Which again, he just had uh, Holmes was seconds behind Zarnax there at the end and just got taken out and then taken out again on the way back and then taken out again, and it was just uh, too much. Yeah, it definitely it definitely was a pretty close. Uh, even with those even with those times, it was uh, closer than it looks. All right, so with that, uh, Aaron, any uh, any last thoughts before we close it up? Ah, uh, just this. Uh, I, I don't know if this is going to be the overall fastest combination of races. It might be. It might be really close, but this just felt like it was downhill, and I think uh, what we saw from you guys, like the fact that Swamp was just a little bit heidi, because um, I think a lot of people saw Sherlock and then bounced off of it and had to come back for it. If uh, Swamp was a little bit more obvious, I think we would have seen this one sub-10 too, because it seemed like everyone was ready by then. But uh, GG's everyone. This is a super stressful, crazy week. Fun to do, fun to be done with. Yeah. Thing Slimu and Beta said, thanks for, for for everyone putting in the the time to help make this restream happen. But also thanks to my fellow racers uh, just for accommodating my awkward schedule. Yeah, thank you for uh, for putting on such a great show. And uh, another uh, another thank you out to the uh, the crew behind the scenes. Uh, we've got uh, Cyberdark eighty six for uh, for the restream and uh, Shihali and Venicus uh, as trackers. So uh, the links uh, to their to them are in the uh, in the chat as well. So feel free to give them a, a, a follow. Uh, my co-coms as well has been uh, Aaron to you too. And uh, on behalf of everyone, uh, I'd love to wish you a, a wonderful afternoon. And uh, stay tuned, or maybe not stay tuned, but uh, later on tonight at uh, 10.30 Eastern, uh, we're going to have uh, the last of the races for this week that are going to be live. And that's going to be Group 9 between Venicus, Guelph, Bob Pineapple MD, and Silly Dabbit. So uh, come on back for more Week 2 action. Uh, looking forward to seeing you there. <laughs>